Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so, as you can tell by the uh, by the thumbnail of the video, today we're gonna be placing the radiator, and we're gonna be replacing it with a Koyo Rad uh, radiator, their HH series. So it's their uh, competition race series uh, radiators. So the reason why we're replacing it is because first, E36s love to run really, really hot for some reason. Uh, but second is because my radiator blew. So, let me show you what, uh, well, let me show you what that means. So, if you can see here, um, there's water leaking. Okay, and it's leaking from, you know, there's no hoses here, there's no nothing. If, if a hose was, if a hose was leaking, it would be somewhere back here, right there. Um, but it's not. And, if you can tell, all that right there is wet. So, that only means one thing. And look, you can see the whole wet spot. One of my cores, uh, one of my cores blew up. So, not blew up, but, you know, um, failed on me. So, if I touch this, and look, now my hand is soaked in water. Um, so, yeah, if I, that, yeah, that shouldn't be happening. So, that is the reason why um, I'm replacing it. Uh, and I'm replacing it with Koya Rad because Koya Rad is just a really reliable radiator. Um, I didn't go with Mishimoto because what really sold me on this brand of radiator, um, what really sold me on this brand of radiator is um, I watch uh, Offbeat Garage. If you guys don't, check him out. He's really cool. Um, has a nice build series. I watched almost all of his episodes of um, his build series and whatever. Um, if you watch his Ultimate SEMA trip, uh, him and his friend Akita, they're driving, and the first, uh, the first thing that sold me was that they were driving to Las Vegas, and his water temperature was like completely cold, like completely, completely cold. And, you know, that was the first thing I was like, oh, wow, like, that's really sick. Like, that's pretty cool that, you know, radiator could do that, yada, yada, yada. The second thing that sold me was later on in that video, they go to Mishimoto. And they check the welds on Mishimoto's, like, um, radiators and stuff like that. And it's just really bad. Like, it seems like somebody was just like, <clears throat> like, it didn't seem, like, consistent like this, like, this is really consistent if you want to inspect the welds. Really, really consistent. Just one nice long bead. Everywhere. I don't think I've found an imperfection anywhere. Alright, there's a little bit of dust. Probably from, from packaging or whatever. It came over here too. But, um... But yeah, I literally just got this out, and I'm I'm super pumped, super excited uh, to put this in. Um, but yeah, this thing is awesome. It doesn't come with a lifetime warranty like Mishimoto, which I kind of wanted, but at the same time, I just kept thinking about it, and I was like, no, this is just a lot better quality, a lot better in every way. So that's the reason why I'm doing this. Or that's why the reason why I bought Koya Red, um, and um, also the price. This was a hundred dollars cheaper than uh, Mishimoto, and yeah, of course you're paying for the lifetime warranty, yada yada yada. But I don't know if I'm paying that much, I I would want to see like this kind of you know presentation um, from their products, but. Um, you know, you don't, so, well, I mean, I'm not saying all of them, but at least from that video, it just really sold me, or, like, this company really sold me, so, I'm putting this in, um, today, the car's still really hot, because I drove it here, so, we're gonna wait for that to cool down, once then, come back out, and start getting cracking on it, oh, we're also gonna put a thermostat in here, because that's another thing that, um, I thought was bad, so, we can do that, um, and yeah, uh, it should be a fun day, it should be easy, um, 
So yeah, let's just wait for the car to cool down. Probably gonna be out here in another hour or less and get to it. Okay guys, so we're back here with the, uh, the Koya Red install and um, it's a new day because yesterday I got busy when the car was cooling. Uh, so it's been a whole 12 hours almost, maybe even more than that, when the car is cooling. Cooled overnight, I should say. But um, we're here. Uh, we have the radiator right here. We have buckets to drain the fluid. We have my thermostat right there. All my tools right there that we're going to need. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to set you guys up probably um, right here so you guys can see everything when I pull it out and all that. Um, and yeah, I'll probably say the tools you're going to need like as we go on because these are supposed to be 10 mil, bolt, uh, 10 mil bolts to take off the, this cover. But um, as you can see, they're... they're uh, the Phillips heads, so yeah, um, we're just gonna start taking this part, um, and it should just come off pretty easily. I don't see why it wouldn't. Uh, yeah, let me set you guys up, and then we'll get to it. Um, now, since you got the cover off, I'm gonna drain the fluid now. Um, there shouldn't be a lot since my radiator is already leaking. And it should be mostly water because I've just been filling it up with water. Um, but if you do have coolant in yours, uh, make sure to dispose of that accordingly. We don't want to get to get into the um, into the environment and you know destroy Mother Earth. But uh, what I am going to do is I'm also going to open this up right here so that there's more air and it's going to or there's more openings than just that one. And it's going to flow right out. Um, Open up this too. Just so that there's a lot more airflow. Okay, so I just got it drained. Um, the bucket's still under there. There's like barely any water in there, which kind of makes me think that there's blockage in here. So that's also another good reason why I'm replacing it. Because um, there's like no water came out. Uh, but there's still water in the overflow tank. So. I don't know. Um, we're just gonna leave it at that because we're gonna replace it anyways. But now let's start taking off our two or our uh, our upper and lower hoses, and then from there we're gonna pull this out. Oh, take off these clips, pull this out, and then we're gonna get started on the thermostat because it's gonna give us a lot more room to get like um, uh, a ratchet in there and start taking everything out. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do next. Um, let me put some music on for myself. You guys are going to have different music. So right now, um, I'm going to cut the wires to my E-fan because the previous owner that put this in didn't expect to it come back out because he put it behind the overflow tank. Um, so I'm going to cut them right here and then I'm going to put butt connectors on them so that, um, you know, it could come out and uh, be disconnected and everything. So that's what I'm going to do right now so that this whole thing could come out. But uh, I see another hose that's running down here. Um, I don't know where it goes. Oh, it goes to right here. So, um, I need to see where I could disconnect that from, but as of right now, I'm going to snip this and then I'm just going to crimp them. Okay, sorry guys. Um, I had to pull off uh, a hose that goes right here, which is located right here. And for some reason, the previous owner um, didn't think about you know <laughs> pulling this off, so it was kind of a bitch to get off. So I got it off now, and this thing should be ready to come out and then start moving everything to the other side. 
that's what we're gonna start doing right now. Okay, so um, now we got uh, the housing out. I'm going to clean this up a little bit because this doesn't look good. Um, and it looks like there's supposed to be a gasket on here. Uh, I'll probably just make one right now with some RTV that I have. Or maybe this one might still be good. I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's like uh, a gas... Well, I don't know. I might just make one with some RTV and stick it back on here because it just kind of doesn't look like it like, needs it but um, I'm going to make a quick call real quick and then uh, I'll be back and putting all this back together so yeah alright so while I wait for um, a couple things to arrive uh, right now um, I'm going to start moving everything to the new radiator so I'm going to move Oh, wow. That's nice. I don't have the plastic grommets or the the rubber grommets that go here. Um, so, I don't have these grommets here, but I need to get this thing in because I need to drive my car. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to pull these out right here. These, these little guys with the needle nose. Um, right now I'm just seeing how thick these are. Uh, let me show you guys. So, right here you guys can tell that the Koya Rad is a lot thicker than stock than this one. Uh, of course, like yeah, it's all aluminum and everything's all nice. Um, what I do want to see is how many rows this has, and I'm not going to see until I take off the the temperature sensors so let's do that right now and then um, that should be good for now um, for what I should be taking off but yeah I'm gonna move that right now and then what else I should do is try mocking up the fan to see where that's gonna go because that's gonna be the last thing okay so I could see in there, and it's actually a one row um, radiator, but the rows are really thick, so they're really long, um, which isn't the greatest because you only have one source of water going through one way, so that's the reason why I was probably losing so much water, uh, because one of them busted, um, but I can't tell right now. But yeah, so I'm going to put some Teflon tape on this, and uh, I'm going to thread it in the other one so that this is already ready to go, and then this could be junked because I don't need it anymore. Alright, so I just put like three wraps of Teflon tape around it, I just thread it in, and it should be done. I'm just going to snug it up real quick because just do nice. Quarter turn. That's it. Um, now I am going to uh, start mocking up the fan to see where it's going to sit because that's the next thing I need to do. And um, I need to see where I need to zip tie it and everything because this has no mount mounting points. Um, what I could do is actually I get the fan shred and start putting it on here. So. I'm gonna do. All right, guys. So um, I didn't film quite a lot, um, but it was all mainly I was just cleaning the hoses, and then um, actually I had to order a couple parts. I had to order a uh, a gasket for the housing. I had to order a gasket for the housing, and then this comes with also a um, a, a seal. So that's that's it right there. So I need to get that, and I need to get the gasket. That's not coming in until two thirty 
from uh, Ed's Autos or Ed's Auto Parts that I go to. But um, I got all this mocked up now. I got that bottom hose in there. Uh, that was a pain. But um, I got everything on there. Um, I think I'm going to drop in the radiator right now and kind of mock it up, mock everything up uh, before I um, before I actually uh, you know uh, put the thermostat in and everything, so that just everything's in there and everything's all good to go. I think I could do it, um, you know, just throw it in there and then be okay with it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So at least I just need to throw the thermostat in and then. Um, Tomorrow, since I think I'm running out of time, I need to go to work. Uh, tomorrow, I could just uh, fill it up with coolant and then be done with it. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to put you back where you guys were and um, uh, get going with putting the radiator in. So, alright guys. So, right now, um, <laughs> we cut to uh, me in my car because... When I was filming uh, the end of that, of putting my radiator in and uh, mocking up my fan and everything, I did run into a couple problems, uh, stuff that probably you guys shouldn't even be dealing with, and also stuff that was kind of stupid and really needed my focus instead of, you know, constantly looking at the camera, making sure I'm recording and stuff like that, um, plus, uh, I needed to look at things differently uh, on how to mount it, how to, you know, do everything. But, um, this is kind of weird because this is around three months after the fact that I have put my radiator in. Um, so some stuff has changed, like, the, I, I have different fans now, um, and I also mounted the... I have custom made mounts for my radiator um, and uh, you know I uh, there there I, I would just I want to say that yeah there's probably some stuff in there that you guys didn't need to see and probably don't have to deal with that I had to deal with um, so yeah I've had the I've had the radiator in my car for uh, probably three months now, two to three months, and, you know, it's, um, it's working great, I absolutely love it, I'm gonna show you, uh, what I mean, but, um, let me just explain to you one more time that, yeah, of course, I ran out of storage, or actually, I ran out of storage space on, uh, this memory card, and also on my computer, so that's why I didn't have any, um, I didn't have any, you know, time to even edit, or, you know, do anything like that, because I couldn't get the stuff on here onto my PC, so, I was kind of stuck for a while, <laughs> and then plus, you know, I just started school, so that took up a lot of my time to even finish this video, um, yeah, work also, because I am a full-time student, and not full-time working, but, um, yeah, it does take up a lot of my time, so, uh, that's really what's happening. You're probably going to see another video like this on installing my fans. I'll show them to you too. And uh, it's probably going to be something like this too. Because right around that time was when I, um, was when I uh, you know, got in the predicament of memory space and storage space and everything. So just bear with me here. Uh, I'm going to show you as much as I can and explain uh, what didn't happen after that. Um, but yeah, uh, please bear with me, there's, most of my videos until I do another mod, uh, to this car is going to be like this because I did film everything in advance because, uh, this car is, was my, uh, senior project for my high school and I'm out of high school now and I just drive the car for, you know, uh, for me really and for having fun and yeah. So yeah, let me show you what um, I did and the things that had to be changed and I needed to do. So, if we come over here, um, as you see, um, everything looks completely, you know, fine. Everything looks, you know, like it should, except for this right here. 
So these are L-shaped mounts that I mounted to, uh, that I self-tapped, and uh, these are now my brackets for um, my radiator. I'm still using the regular grommet. You know, everything's fine. This thing is solid, and actually, I bent those uh, because these used to be that. So I bent them, and so they're flat, and you know they have the right angle to. Hold my radiator because these, um, I think this radiator sits a little bit lower than stock. So these, when I would push them down, my radiator would be flopping everywhere, and it just it wasn't ideal. Um, so another thing, if you remember the cavity that was in uh, my my housing, which was right around here, um, I actually found that gasket, put a new one in. Also put a paper gasket on top of that, and then a small bit of blue RTV. Um, you can see a little bit right there. Um, so this is all good. Um, this hasn't failed me yet. I haven't, um, you know, had a leak from there or anything like that. Haven't lost any uh, coolant or anything like that. And as you see, I don't have that ginormous ass fan anymore that's pulling. Um, I got rid of that because I kept blowing fuses because the motor kept getting stuck and it kept hitting up against the crank pulley and you know just destroying the fan and destroying my radiator so I said goodbye to that um, another thing here let me get this off yeah I also haven't found the screws for that that I took off but um I have dual fans here you'll see that later but um as of right now this is what I uh, I'm currently running and it's working absolutely great. I absolutely love the radiator um, It works perfectly fine. I have no overheating issues, especially with these fans You'll find out the specs of them later and yada yada yada, but um I absolutely love it um, I haven't had any problems. Nothing's bursted. Nothing's leaked. Uh, nothing Has really done anything uh, I did ha I did buy uh, the grommets for down there um, I did, I did that, oh, I also have hose right there, um, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, I do have, oops, that's my lens cap, I do have hose, that's right there, I made a slit in between a hose, and then, uh, slid it right there so that the, the radiator, the radiator isn't just, you know, vibrating on metal, and that could destroy it, and, uh, cause, you know, bad, flow of water and stuff like that or as so I've heard probably is true makes sense but I did put some there I did put a hose there so that it could um, reduce the vibration from when I'm driving and stuff like that but um yeah that's really it about what I've done um, and then I also did you know um, I also did uh, I also did, you know, a full coolant flush, well, of course, because I was replacing the radiator, um, half and half of green coolant and distilled water, you guys should already know that, so it's not really a point for me to, um, to show, but, uh, yeah, I think that is all that you guys didn't see, and I'm pretty sure I covered everything, so, yeah, if you guys liked the video, um, if you guys like my style of editing, this is my first video that's on my channel. Um, I'm probably going to do some more because this was actually really fun. Um, leave a like, comment what you guys like to see, um, subscribe. Uh, that's really going to motivate me to make a lot more videos because I do love working on this car. I'm actually starting to build a, uh, or, uh, put together, you know, steering wheel setup. Um, I am only work. <laughs> I am, uh, you know, only working uh, part time. So it is kind of hard for me to, you know, buy something immediately. I have to save up for it a lot. I also do have bills too, <laughs> and school payments and stuff like that. So it is a lot for me. Um, it, it. So yeah, just if you guys like my content, if you guys like what I do here, if you guys like my car, if you guys like whatever. Leave a like, comment what you guys want to see, what you guys want to change, want to see change, 
um, anything. Uh, it's really, I'm open to new ideas, new whatever, because this is new, and this is all really for everyone out there that's trying to learn or uh, see what the budget uh, is for building a car or what have you. Um, it's not hard to build a car. Uh, that's also what I would like to, you know, get pronounced to the world. It's not hard to build a car. It's, uh, it is expensive, uh, as long as you know what you're looking for. Um, it's fun. It's a great tool to have in life. I don't know. But, um, yeah. So, um, see you guys next time. Uh, I don't know what the next video is going to be, but um, it should relate. And just please remember, it's going to be something like jumping to the future when that was in the past. And, you know, you'll see when it gets there, all right? So, uh, yeah, later, guys. Have a nice day.